And we're underway here in the third quarter. Gorgeous night for football here. In the first week of November, Parker negotiating the coverage there. And he'll bring the ball back close to the 45-yard line, a 23-yard return. And there are the first half numbers, meager, to say the least. Well, I think they're attacking offenses here as pass. And look at how Ottawa's doing it. They're doing it through the run on the ground right now. Obviously, the big story, three first-half interceptions by Bishop and the one fumble by Kerry Joseph. And the fact that he's 23 yards short of 1,000 for that $10,000 bonus. We'll see what happens. That may be all she wrote for Michael Bishop as the number three signal caller for the Argos, Charlie Peterson, out of Brigham Young, comes into the football game to start this second half for the Argos. He'll stay on the ground, handing off to Williams, and Williams finds all kinds of resistance at the line of scrimmage. Looks like Jeff Johnson is getting a breather in this second half. Well, Charlie Peterson out of Brigham Young University. Another opportunity for a youngster to come in here as we see Michael Bishop on the sideline. His half's over. There's his numbers, 11 to 20, 142 yards, but obviously three interceptions, a blemish on that record. All the young men are into the game for the Argos on offense here. John Williams, Brian Crawford in the backfield, Christian Heffernan, and Ian Ford at receiver. Peterson to Williams, and he's hammered instantly. Kai Ellis, the middle linebacker, showing great speed to get over and make the tackle. Well, I've really been impressed with him. I know a lot of people are going to say, hey, this is a second unit. But we saw him earlier in the first half with a great rundown of Jeff Johnson. Look at the closing speed. That is what you want. I mean, he's a big man at six foot three. Yes. You want a guy that can punish people, but you got to have a middle linebacker to go side to side in this big CFL football field. That was just the second completed pass for Peterson this year. He's only thrown five four passes rather coming into this game in two brief appearances against the Hamilton Tiger Cats. It's Chris Hardy now doing the kicking for the Argos. Free Fontaine getting a breather. Hardy the former Manitoba Bison a punter and quarterback there with a high punt dropped by Armstead. And no yards will be the call as he gets quickly back on top of that ball. Looked like Parker was the man inside the five yard restraining zone. Good call, Mark. It definitely was Byron Parker within the five yards. Parker, who gets his opportunity to play today. The ball comes loose, but he's already got the flag. 40 yard punt. And they move the ball up a little bit. Give better field position for the offense and Brad Banks to start. Brad Banks, the former Heisman finalist in 2002 out of the University of Iowa, sidelined for much of the early season here in Ottawa with a shoulder injury. Started just three games last year, played in five in his rookie season. And I'll tell you what, this is a young quarterback with all kinds of promise. Don Matthews, the head coach of Montreal, said last year after seeing him play against them in the second last week of the season, this guy is special. Banks in the shotgun, four receivers wide side. And he'll hand off to Josh Roddick to start the second half. Roddick bounces off one tackle and finds the least line of resistance in what looks like an Ottawa first down. Gary Joseph on the sidelines after the first half. His number's not that electrifying. No, 6 and 9, 43 yards. They really basically moved the football on the ground with Josh Ronick carrying the majority of that with 110 yards rushing in the first half for Ronick. Joseph, 23 yards shy of 1,000 rushing yards with 35 on the ground. Came into the game needing 58 and a $10,000 bonus for 1,000. Ronick with the carry.